bomb this morning. The country announcing it has successfully taken the next step for the production of nuclear weapons. Hundreds of thousands, perhaps more than a million people, many of them bussed in by the state, gathered in downtown Tehran to hear President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad speak. His message to the crowd that Iranian scientists had revved up Iran's nuclear program and managed to produce a batch of extra enriched uranium. The first convoy of the 20% fuel was produced and uh, provided uh, for the scientists. For the crowd, it was thrilling news. For the U.S. and the West, it's bound to be deeply worrying. Speaking to students at Carnegie Mellon's Doha campus, Secretary Clinton said Iran is turning into a military state. That is how we see it. We see that the government of Iran, the supreme leader, the, the president, the parliament, is being supplanted and that Iran is moving toward a military dictatorship. Asked if the U.S. is considered a military option against Iran, Clinton said no. But we want the world united in sending an unequivocal message to Iran that we will not stand idly by uh, while you pursue uh, a nuclear program that can be used to threaten your neighbors and even beyond. The question is, do you or your government seek the destruction of the state of Israel as a Jewish state? And I think you could answer that question with a single word, either yes or no. We love all nations. We are friends with the Jewish people. There are many Jews in Iran living peacefully. Facing to build uh, power plants nuclear power plants. They have more oil coming out of their ears. They don't need right. nuclear power plants. They need and are seeking to build nuclear weapons. Now, as we keep our own commitments, we must hold other nations accountable for theirs. International law will give way to the law of the jungle. And that benefits no one. As I said in Prague, the rules must be binding, violations must be punished, and words must mean something. <laughs> Every inhabitant of this planet must contemplate the day when this planet may no longer be habitable. Every man, woman, and child lives under a nuclear sword of Damocles, hanging by the slenderest of threads, capable of being cut at any moment by accident or miscalculation or by madness. The weapons of war must be abolished before they abolish us. 